Where are you holding yourself back? Where are you keeping yourself playing small? Fear has this really innate ability to be able to keep us playing small because it's designed to keep us safe. We need fear in our lives to be able to keep us safe. It stops us from walking out in front of a car on the road. It stops us from doing things that put us in danger. But what it also does is it often keeps us stuck. It keeps us playing small and we stay in our comfort zone. Our comfort zone is great, right? We have a lot of control in that area. We can stay safe and we can be comfortable, but there is no change in comfort. Outside of our comfort zone, we have the fear zone. This is where we will listen to every excuse, every rationalization, every uh, little inner thought and where our inner critic is trying to keep us stuck and keep us in back in the comfort zone. It's where we will always retreat back to our comfort zone. But past the fear zone, is the learning zone and that's where we want to get to because we cannot grow without learning. So if, even if we just are aware of that state and when we're in our comfort zone that we're not growing, we're not moving, we're not changing at all and if we want to see different results in our lives we need to push through the fear and we can take the fear with us but know that it's not there to stop us. We need the fear to keep us safe but know that it cannot keep us small anymore. We've got to change that relationship that we have with fear, push through and allow ourselves to learn and grow. The learning zone is great. It's where we feel inspired. It's where we start to build new self-belief. It's where we start to allow ourselves to look outside of ourselves and see new possibilities for our lives and for our businesses. But we've got to push through that fear to get to that grow zone. So where are you keeping yourself playing small? That awareness and allowing ourselves to reflect and notice where fear is keeping us playing small, that awareness is where it creates so much more choice. We cannot create change without the awareness. So starting to notice and recognize every single day, where are you holding back? Where are you not speaking up? Where are you keeping yourself stuck by not taking the action? Those self-sabotaging behaviors, it's what's going to continue to play out unless we have the awareness take those small action steps to start building that self-belief and start learning to grow. Where can you start to learn to grow? Where can you start to push yourself outside your comfort zone and use that fear to catapult you into the growth stage? Hey, if this has resonated with you, then please share this with anybody who you think might benefit from it or leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm Christine Corcoran, Business Mindset Coach, and I hope to see you soon.